I know that I said I won't be making YouTube videos for a while until I make my review on Felt. But honestly, I just can't hold it in. This is so stupid that I'm going to take a break from my review and just focus on this stupid video because goddamn, I know you guys want some anti-feminist wank material. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. How to be a gamer girl in four easy steps. Well, this has to be comedy gold. One, choose a gender neutral or masculine username for your online identity. The hordes of cisgender, heterosexual, and mostly white men you'll be gaming with. Funny, 50% of gamers are females according to studies. Yet I guess the majority of people playing video games like Call of Duty and Gears of War according to you are cisgender straight white males. Now, I can understand mostly men because some online games like Call of Duty and Gears of War are catered to a male audience. But mostly cisgender straight white dudes? I have plenty of friends who are either not white, female, gay, or even all of the above who play video games, especially online. You are trying to create this big fat lie on video games being only for straight cisgender white men in order to give this massive illusion that video gamers are sexist, racist, and homophobic. We're only about 10 seconds in and already I want to gnaw off my knuckles. Are incredibly sensitive to the possibility of a female within their midst and are more likely to consider you part of the scenery than a peer on the battlefield. Because apparently us gamers cannot handle the fact that there's a girl who can play as good as us. Honestly, I would not care if you are a girl or if you're gay when it comes to playing video games. Yesterday, I was playing with a female friend of mine. Her name's the Angel 718 Look her up on YouTube. She's a pretty decent player when it comes to Mortal Kombat. If you started gaming when you were young, naive, and starry-eyed, and have the misfortune of an unchangeable feminine username like Jigglypuff Sparkle Fairy, <laughs> prepare your defenses ahead of time. Are you kidding me? A name like that sounds awesome. I play Team Fortress 2, and my username right now is Sylveon. Yes, the Fairy Evolution. Some people rage quit when they get dominated by a guy named Sylveon. People would get upset if they lose to someone named Jigglypuff Sparkle Fairy. I know I would. At the first question of your gender, tell them you are a lesbian, because in gamer jargon, lesbian is synonymous with man, and there's no room to be feminine here. Funny, I thought gamers were pretty much anti-gay, but you know what? Being a lesbian doesn't count! Two. Become an expert in everything. Complete every side quest. Earn every achievement. Be prepared for any reference or joke. Because if you're not, fake gamer girl alert! Are you telling me that if a gamer girl was to play a game and she hasn't completed a game, or at least finished most of it, she's not a real gamer? I'm not sure if you know how being a gamer works, because in order for you to be a fake gamer girl, you would have to have little to no interest in gaming in the first place. If this is an online game we're talking about, like only Geary, and you see someone with more experience than you, it's pretty there. It's a pretty damn clear indication that that person knows a lot more about this particular game than you do. So unless you claim to know about everything about that certain video game, but can't answer such simple question, then yes, you are a fake gamer girl. Suddenly, that low-cut shirt you're wearing was not a choice you made because you felt good about your bomb-ass cleavage when you woke up this morning. Because many girls who play video games just show off their cleavage and boys just masturbate to it? Suddenly, you're a succubus. You're only in it for the attention. Because what real gamer doesn't know that the skeleton hanging by its ankles from the ceiling of the Bjorn Ice Caves on the island of Solstheim and the Blood Moon expansion of the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind was obviously a Star Wars reference? <laughs> Fake geek girls. All right, we went to Cleavage to a reference that I haven't gotten. Once again, this is not how being a fake gamer girl works. You have to say you are an expert in playing a certain video game, but you can't hit a man with a shotgun that is two feet away from you. If someone asks you the question that tests your knowledge of a certain game series or a TV series, and you can't even answer the basic questions, then yes, you are a fake geek girl slash gamer girl. Also, according to Top Hats and Champagne, that's a Star Trek reference, you fake gamer girl. Three. Be willing to accept the fact that you, yes, 
You are single-handedly responsible for the degradation of the modern-day gaming industry. So, apparently gamers are now acting like the Nazis using girls as a scapegoat. Because you keep demanding better representation for women, even though you already have a diverse selection of skinny, scantily clad, and or heavily sexualized white women to choose from. Let me guess, you want to play as a fat female character who is a lesbian yet can break down mountains using her massive tits of doom! And she can perform backflips without a problem. May I remind you that there are games where you can change your skin color and even your size. It's mostly RPG games that do that, and there are other games where there is no playable character at all. Games that have male protagonists are usually catered to a male audience. But for some odd reason, we need to make video games more diverse for women because that's how it works. Make a product that caters to women, but women won't have an interest in it, and somehow it will sell. Good luck with that. If you want a more feminist, friendly game, try the Mass Effect trilogy. It's full of strong female characters. Never mind the fact that the first female villain we're introduced to is presented to us with shots of her ass and tits before we ever see her face. Remember, ladies, female objectification is a myth. And never mind the fact that you get to play certain men ranging from shirtless to mere underwear. Four, get used to fear. Watch Anita Sarkeesian's videos criticizing misogyny in video games. Watch the death and rape threats roll in. Listen in shock as the people you game with claim Zoe Quinn only received recognition for her free online game because she slept with someone. What does this have to do with being a gamer girl? Anita Sarkeesian admitted that she was not a fan of video games, so really it comes to shove that Anita is the least qualified person to even criticize a culture that she has no interest in the first place. And as for Zoe Quinn, are you telling me that it's okay that she slept with a guy to have positive reviews of her game because the game is free? Who had nothing to do with the media coverage of her free online game. Hashtag Quinspiracy. Hashtag Gamergate. Hashtag Ethics in Gaming Journalism. Watch women speak up. Watch women have their personal information revealed online. Remember that one time some of the MRAs who support Gamergate was kicked out of the Calvary Expo because the, somehow they were harassing folks with their thoughts and presence? I'm against doxing like everybody else here, but it seems that it's only okay to dox someone if they're a part of Gamergate. Watch women leave the industry. Start gaming quietly. And make sure to keep your comments offline, because if you don't, you might be next, because after all, you are the one ruining the industry. Because it doesn't matter if your opinion on something is incredibly stupid and brainwashing everyone. If I even dare say something that is, well, has some logical understanding, it's pretty much the same thing as being docs. It's the same thing as being harassed. It's pretty much the same thing as opposing the mighty perfection ideology known as feminism. Remember? <laughs> Hooray! You know, I have to say, that shirt of her really makes her look like she's in special education. Like, the star of her shirt looks like it's been glued on by her teachers and saying, You're a special little snowflake! Now go down that stage and surprise everyone! I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out! Subscribe to my content for more videos. Okay, uh, this is just a, uh, quick update. Um, I know that my review of Felt is gonna be taking a while, and you know what? I feel like people are not going to participate in my review of Felt, so I'm gonna do this one all by myself, my review. Um, uh, I'm gonna try to upload my, uh, trailer review first, then my movie review. And then after that, I'm gonna double down of all the videos that I am currently working on, which includes um, my video on Lacey Green, the 7 Hunger Subspecial, the 8 Hunger Subspecial, the upcoming 9 Hunger Subspecial, the, um, let's see, my video on Mikester, um, then there's Kevin Logan, then again, Anita Sarkeesian, um, 
and there's a couple of other videos that I'm um, that I plan to make a video response to um, mostly about feminism so like I have about 10 videos that that needs to be made right this instant right right after I'm done with my movie review and you know what I'm still going to allow people to speak on this channel um, I already talking talk to the asshole Delta uh, he plans to make a video rogue shot rabbit uh, there's some other guy I forgot his name and and then hopefully um, I can gather more people and then there's my video on candy kill 10 now I know that Candy Kill 10 is not as active as he used to be back in 2012, 2013, and quite frankly, I'm pretty much kicking a dead horse, but since my audience is going to end up growing anyway, I had to warn them about the dangers of meeting someone like Candy Kill 10, who is willing to censor people, who is willing to silence anyone with an opposing opinion. So, um, my next video is going to be on Candy Kill 10. And, you know, you guys got to be careful with this guy because, quite frankly, he is a mental retard.